if you remember March 21st, 2022, uh, today is March 24th, 2022. I said that if I'm, when I'm throwing stuff against the wall, seeing if it is hit or miss, seeing if it sticks, then Steve will get up and, uh, and either confirm it with something of the same type of title or talk about the same thing that's in the video. So this was about the dollar bills, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I look at Bitcoin as mainly Derek Bros's thing and cryptocurrency as uh, Steve and uh, James's thing. Either way, they're both in my view will collapse and money will still live. And that's just one of the wounded heads, just one of the scenarios of what the wounded head is being played out with. And then, and then the same day after my video, Steve gets up talking about the money, which confirms that, yes, that's true, tagging you. And then, same thing with Steve. So when I say Steve, that's why I got to differentiate the two. But I can just say Steve as, as, as a group, because there's two of them. But in here, uh, well, let's start with Steve's first. We are going into the mark of the beast in a way you could never even possibly imagine. Um, Three days prior. So the way that you exchange services, the way that you buy or sell, you're going to need the mark. You're going to need the number and you're going to need the name of the beast. It is provocative. Uh, it will challenge everything that you've ever thought about when it comes to the mark of the beast. And I know with all the new things that have been going on for the last couple of years, there's been all kinds of ideas out there about the mark of the beast, etc. cetera. Um, but I wanna remind you too, remember the scripture says in Revelation that it's not just uh, the mark, but you could have the name of the beast. You could have the number of his name. So the way that you exchange services, the way that you buy or sell, you're going to need the mark, you're going to need the number, and you're going to need the name of the beast. But remember, there's two beasts. One of them rises up from the sea. In the host body system, they're going to tell you. That and then again, what is the beast? Who is the beast? There's so many things that need to be answered. And then, of course, you have the deadly wound. And that deadly wound is healed. Where does all this fit in Scripture? And if we can fit the pieces of the puzzle together, are we willing to really sincerely look at the evidence that is presented? I certainly hope that we're able to, and today I'm going to take you on a journey, and I have to thank Sister Jen, uh, the way uh, sent me a message over on Facebook, and I heard uh, masterminds, masterminds, just like that picture of mastermind that I posted, Robin, the blue mastermind, that's why he's blue. Blue boy. March 19th, 2022. They shall bruise thy head. It doesn't say in Hebrew, they shall bruise thy head. Right there. There it is. Who? I put it in blue for you now so you can see that. Who? You know? Okay. That's why he's blue. The mastermind is the color blue. Who is he? Not they, he. You cannot translate who as they. 
it's beyond me how ridiculous rabbis will do in order to be able to make it fit their own narrative, right? Who, who yashuv chaf rosh, he shall bruise your head, wound, a deadly wound to the head. Of what? The serpent. By the way you're acting, you haven't been healed from it. Jesus wounded. He bruised the head of the serpent. And the head was what? What? Why do we have the word head in there? Because the head represents the authority. Who was in authority in Israel at the time? Who was the the head of the uh, uh, of the temple at that time? The high priest, etc. We're gonna try to get to guard all right. That's because of dickheads like you. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do it of the temple of that time, the high priest, etc., it was the Pharisees. And Jesus wounded their head, exposing who they were, showing you that they were serpents. Who, Yashuv Rosh, he shall bruise your head, wound, a deadly wound to the head. Of what? The serpent. So the serpent, the beast of Genesis, is going to get a deadly wound, but that wound is going to heal. Then it goes on and says, continues on, and you shall bruise their heel. Or um, literally, you could, that should, Ve'ata to shefanu a cave. You shall bruise their heel. A cave. Now we know that the prophecy is speaking of Christ, and that Christ literally causes the deadly wound to what? The serpent, the beast. Do you understand that verse? History is repeating itself. Those, those that condemned Christ <laughs> the first time, those that condemned him, the blood of of him is on their hands. They have blood guilty. They're blood guilty. Okay. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though ye once knew this, judgment's coming. And it's going to start coming from SJD to his own people. Watch. Just watch the pattern continually develop between Steve Manu, Stephen James Deshaun, and myself. But remember, there's two beasts. One of them rises up from the sea. In a host body system, they're going to take out of the sea of humanity. And then also, remember, Christ had a wounded head too. And did live because once you die you're considered dead you're wounded the head the head of christ and then you live again but see you speak blasphemies against god but which god would that be because if christ is one speaking blasphemies against the god of you know the world then that's only it's like that's written as an enemy of that beast that rise up from the sea but i'm going to stick with the interpretation of the beast that rise up from the sea is the one who nobody can make war with kind of like the goliath saying like who can who who's going to fight me and who's going to last? And who's going to endure the end? Who's going to stop my head? Who's going to crush me? And who's going to heal my head after it stops me? Who's heal? Then you have another beast that rises up from the earth. Now this person would who's going to endure to the end? And who's going to stop my head? Who's going to crush me? And who's going to heal my head after he stops on it with his heel? Ata to shefanu a cave. You shall bruise their heel. Now we know that the prophecy is speaking of Christ, and that Christ literally causes the deadly wound to what? The serpent, the beast. 
So when you're reading Revelation and we find out saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Every time Robin shows this sword, because that's what I see, I see the Pendragon sword, the, what is it, from the sword to stone, the myth? Wow. The sword wounded the beast and he lives? <laughs> You know, here's what's interesting. Let me let me pull over here. All right. Whose son is the Christ? Just take and type in the word sword. Let's go. You can think it up. <clears throat> Wounded by the sword, did live. Words. Wow. It's that simple. Wounded by words, I will speak. I hear you calling for me. June 15th. It's close. Last day's delusion. And you almost had me fooled there, Steve. <laughs> you definitely almost, almost. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside. Sealed with seven seals. Sword is the word, and the word from it's a map, Yeshua, Bible Lord, Alpha Omega, the best. The best is the word, and the word destroys the enemy. Because the word is a is a champion. Could be Polish, but don't open room two thirty seven. Two the New Testament with the word sword. Okay, here we go. I, I didn't look it up yet. That's why I wanted to come to it. Beast is healed. All right, here we go. Matthew ten, right there. The by just by itself. Matthew ten. Let's just look at that one. How did the beast get the wound, and who is the beast? What is the mark of the beast that everyone is looking for? Answers to these questions and more. Well, it's a literal mark on your forehead. I mean, it's either that or the name of the beast that wounded the first beast, or the number of his name. I'll humor you. I gave you a thumbs down. I gave you a thumbs down, and uh, I'll rebuke you again. I rebuke you, Robin Henry. Jeez. Because I know you're a liar, like your father, the devil. Father? Is that you? Are you my daddy? Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And your own son against you or daughter against the mother? So Jesus comes with a sword. And that's why... Jonathan Clicks, fulfillment, being in front of the Philadelphia Art Museum is the sword as well. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh,
That's what else we have. The other one I'm looking for. Yeah, Hebrews, here we go. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even, uh, even to dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow and a discern of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. And what did Jesus do when he came? When Jesus came, he wounded the beast itself, as we know from Matthew 23, right here. How did so the head of the beast is, is wounded, but not, it's like this. The head of the beast can be wounded without even coming across that person wounding them. It's just because they're the head of the other people that you that you've wounded as the ones that are like the high priest back in that year, like when Steve was saying. As he wound that beast, that serpent of the Garden of Eden, when he reveals the ancestry of what happened there. When and so because it's not, it's not just one person, it's the head of the people, but it's also wounding the head of the beast and the system that's here and the serpent that's in the garden itself. And we find that being fulfilled because Jesus wounds the head of the beast. He wounds that head of that beast. The image of the beast is wounded but now it's revived. What do, what do I say when I, when I say it's revived, right? All right, let me give you an example of that re reviving, right? Um, Israel. What is it? Hagee. I, I don't know how you spell Hagee's name. John Hagee. Um, Jonathan Franzen. Well, my name's Jonathan. I got it all and mixed up. I, I'm see. like, Jonathan Franzen? That's weird. And I typed that into a Google image search. And there we go. John Hagee. All right. The, the beast that that system is. Now, that doesn't mean that all Jews are of a Pharisaic bloodline or a serpent reptilian bloodline. But intermixed in the modern state of Israel is clearly a reptilian bloodline. And Jesus exposed the Pharisees for that. But what's odd is that you have people like Hagee, you have people like uh, uh, Yitzhak uh, Shapira, uh, you know, that, uh, let's see here. All right, you have, you have guys like, Right, like Shapira here, that also are very much. Yeah, get the right one here so we can get an image there. You know, you get you get guys like it's like Shapira that are out there. Hey, all of them bringing you back underneath Talmudic rabbis, and Shapira. Let me just see if we can. Let me see if I can pull this out for that. Uh, Yitzhak Shapira literally has taught that you need to go underneath the Talmudic rabbis of Israel. That when the Messiah comes, he will straighten everything out. But until then, you're to go up underneath these rabbis. The deadly wound is healed. Jesus came and exposed who the Pharisees were. And now, uh, let me see if I can pull this out here. Let's see. Pharisees uh, today. One, one of the best ones that can teach on that uh, is actually a Karaite Jew, uh, Nehemiah Gordon. Okay. Let me see if I can let's see if Nehemiah Gordon comes up. Let's see. 
Nehemiah's, I'm probably spelling everything wrong. Here we go, right here. Uh, <coughs> Nehemiah Gordon definitely, accurately has taught that the Pharisees of 2,000 years ago are the Jewish people, are, are, the, are, are, are the Orthodox community of today. So, now he's, he's completely, you know, Nehemiah is completely Jewish. He's not, he's not there to say that he is a believer of Yeshua or anything like that. All right, I have respect for that. But he's a Kirite Jew. He believes in only the Old Testament. He does not believe in Talmudic teachings. Although he does come from a uh, Talmudic background. But what? Let me go over the words. Yeah. All right. I have respect for that. But he's a Kirite Jew. He believes in only the Old Testament. He does not believe in Talmudic teachings, although he does come from a uh, Talmudic background. But... Um, background. But come from back Talmudic background. But I'm fascinated because we see that deadly wound is healed in so many. This is the danger that people don't realize that when you're building up a modern state of Israel, not realizing that scripture has been fulfilled. I've been saying that I've been ringing the bell. You're contributing. The Lord's letting me know. This is the end of to that. You're contributing the earth, which is what you to the reviving of a beast system. So anyway, so we first have to establish that this mark of this beast, beast is the beast is clearly identified in scripture that there would be a deadly wound that wound would be healed and of course genesis is where we find out the prophecy of the beast which would be the serpent that he would get that deadly wound and revelation tells you that that wound is going to be healed and not only that it's going to be healed and he got the, and he gets the wound by what a sword And the sword is the word of God, which is more powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword that divides asunder and pierces even the bone and the marrow, right? That's what it says in Hebrews 4, 4.12. Let's just pull it up on the screen there. Let's take, let's take a... I'm blown away by Right. And this is not easy to take, friends. I know it's not. Um, so, bear with me. Seems to be, although everybody reminds me of, of Christ, too, that they're playing it out. So maybe when with the four different people that I've come across with Steve Benoon, Jonathan Click, Derek Rose, SJD, Stephen James Sean. Maybe I was supposed to see four different wins, like the four corners that were kind of playing a similar role. And I'm confused as to who may be that actual person, but it's not up. To me, right. there's your to sword. Pick who, who is who? The word of God, more to powerful, sharper than any two edged sword. Script. It's up piercing, to the to... even dividing us under soul and spirit of the joints and marrow, discern of the thoughts and intents of the heart. What did Jesus do? He knew their thoughts. He 
perceived as the scripture said what they were what they would think what they would do and when your name keeps add keeps matching perfectly with the name Adam and you just Jesus said I am that I Now we know that the prophecy is speaking of Christ, and that Christ literally causes the deadly wound to what? The serpent, the beast. So when you're reading Revelation, and we find out, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. When I died, when I died, tells us it came back to life, and I received the quickening. That's why I'm alive now. Wow, the sword wounded the beast, and he lives. He knew which ones were of that serpent reptilian kingdom the beast neither is any any creature that is not manifest in his sight but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do look at that look at that right there there is neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession. So there's the sword. There's the word of God that gave that deadly wound to the beast when he was here. We identified that that wound is done, right? But but now we find in Revelation that that... All right. that the, when you understand one soul into that body, that was God's own life being breathed into the body. The body was just a man body, right? Then later, later what happens? God separates the two. And he puts Adam into a deep sleep. Now notice Adam had to go into a deep sleep. You see that? Just about almost four years ago, I heard a I heard about Steve Manu because of Stephen James and Sean. They're going to make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Then watch what it says. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Decoded, motherfuckers! Don't listen to me because I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. So anybody that dumps their money into into um, uh, crypto here, that's not going to go underground. Uh, crypto here to um, uh, crypto here. Here, 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 there. Him, SJD. That's not going to go underground. Guess what? All your money is going to be used as a base for those that went underground because you're going to be dead. Do you get it? But remember, there's two beasts. One it's, of them rises up from the sea. Satan is... In a host body the, system, the tell you, that's the tree are, of life rearranged inside are, of the um, body. Right? Well, how do I want to say if it? they go in another direction, like, like, in a beehive, I think they turn into uh, Masterminds. Masterminds. Just like that picture but, of Mastermind that I posted. Robin, the blue Mastermind. That's why he's blue. <laughs> blue boy. Oh, I also wonder, when I push in, put in Google Maps, to you know go anywhere and it has the the little round thing there and it, it uh it shows it shows that i am blue my phone's really slow everything i have is just slow Computer wise, I don't understand.
I'm blue. I wonder if that's what you mean. And I wonder if the gang stalkers are red when they put on their GPS. The color. They shall bruise thy head. It doesn't say in Hebrew, they shall bruise thy head. Right there. There it is. Who? I put it in blue for you now so you can see that. Who? Who is he? Not they. He. You cannot translate who as they. It's beyond me how ridiculous rabbis will do in order to be able to make it fit their own narrative, right? Who? Yashuv Ha Rosh. A picture of Mastermind that I posted. Robin, the blue Mastermind. That's why he's blue. You're going to keep hearing Steve and Steve. They're going to keep bouncing back and forth. I'll show you the words that are connecting together with what they're talking about. Both of them. It's going to keep happening. He shall bruise your head. The word of God that gave that deadly wound to the beast when he was here, we identified that that wound is done, right? Uh, a thief, because you're stealing crowns. We're going to make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Then watch what it says. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast, and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. The devil must be running out of time because Robin's been really busy. They must be pushing him, telling him to make more videos. You got to make more videos. Right, Robin? So, to, to Matrix that's not added to the system, I just went ahead and added this one in too. This wasn't in there. I was actually kind of surprised. I can't help but think that this is that system, that binary system that's coming through, because it will bring judgment upon this earth like you've never seen before. So I'm going to add another one to, to Matrix that's not added to the system. I just went ahead and added this one in, too. This wasn't in there. I was actually kind of surprised. I'm surprised it wasn't in there. See, here's Caiaphas. All right, he organized the plot. He's the one that organized the plot. He's one of the Pharisees that organized the plot to kill Jesus Christ. Causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Again, it's the, you can have a mark, you can have the name, or you can have the number of his name. Yeah. Then watch what it says. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. And High priest Caiaphas. Okay, it's a familiar spirit, a wicked, evil, fallen spirit. So then, if these horses are standing... Look, you... If these horses are standing before the Lord, and the Lord can conjure up these horses, here's another interesting thing to note about. Who is the being that has, who can stand before the Lord up in heaven, but can become that evil spirit to fulfill God's bidding and purpose? And he walks here, here the earth. on the earth today. It's here. And from that evil spirit to fulfill God's bidding and purpose. And he walks to and fro in the earth. Satan. It's here. And see, Caiaphas uh, collaborated with Pilate, with Pontius Pilate. Mm, Pontius Pilate, Putin, Putin, Pontius Pilate, Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin, 144. Galatians chapter 14. These are they which were, this is, and I looked and behold, a loyal lamb stood on Mount Zion with him and 144,000. Father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven 
from heaven as the voice of many waters and the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung, as it were, a new song to the throne uh, before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goes. The okay, so there'll be a connection there, right there. There'll be a connection there. But just the name Caiaphas, okay, this is how you know. There's more than, you got to have two or more witnesses. You're going to have two or more witnesses to understand the complexity of it all, really. Okay, see? Caiaphas. Alright. Sheol. Right there. There's Caiaphas. You come down here, right? So, there'll be connection there, right there, and there'll be a connection there, okay, right there, you can see him, okay, connected to Benjamin Netanyahu as, as well, okay, the blood has run, mark of the beast, all right, you want to take it literal. Antichrist will come. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm going to have to say Steve's the Antichrist. It makes more sense. Steve came against me in the beginning, in the very beginning. And like he said, You know what? You had it right the first time around. You did. I've heard that. I'm going to get slain, literally, <laughs> Robin, he's such a liar, he, he's, he's going to get slain, yeah, anyway, so um, back to uh, what I was saying here, <laughs> he's going to get slain, so yeah, uh, the beans and, you know, the, the chili in the back there, I'm the big can, so I'm telling you that I'm going to slay Stephen James to Sean with God's word. I, Robin Henry Tees, will slay Stephen James Deshaun with God's word. I wonder what this equals. Their heel. Now we know that the prophecy is speaking of Christ, and that Christ literally causes the deadly wound to what? The serpent, the beast. So when you're reading Revelation and we find out saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Wow. It's 
them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Wow. Wow. The sword wounded the beast and he lives? Who is the being that has, who can stand before the Lord up in heaven, but can become that evil spirit to fulfill God's bidding and purpose? And he walks through the I am the Antichrist. Well, Caiaphas was an Antichrist. Be able to do the same. Zechariah 1 and 6 says what? They stand before the Lord. They walk to and fro in the earth. But let's use scripture. All right. You don't have to buy it. All right. Let's start off with 1 Peter chapter 5. Who walks to and fro? And receives. Okay. Familiar spirits. Familiar your spirits. I'll show you some more here. Look, watch. See Caiaphas. There's Hillary, Diane, Rodham. Interesting. Prince of Darkness. All right, Gematria's Secret. There's your Pontius Pilate. That's why he's connected to Caiaphas. You know, here's what's interesting. Let me let me pull over here. All right. Pontius Pilate and Caiaphas are both together. All right. On read here, you'll see. And then down here, it shows you right there's Pontius Pilate. They were, took part. Both of these spirits are familiar spirits. It took part in the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Esu, Emmanuel, Yehoah Yahweh. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. All right? That's what you got to understand. That was perfectly fine. But now watch what happens. Back to the mark. Because you got to remember, Jesus wounded he is that sword. He wounded the head of the beast, the Pharisees. Abraham was able to see things that were afar off. But he confessed that he was a stranger and a pilgrim on the earth at that time. That he desired a better country. Something that was heavenly, not the things that were being offered by the king of Sodom. You can't see it right now. And you don't see the enemy has come from within. And the Mahdi is here. The Mahdi is the one that will lead the Islamic Jihad in the end of the world. Incorrectly teach that uh, the four horsemen are, un are unleashed because you see so many strong glimpses of four horsemen coming out. But obviously this ain't full-blown potential yet. But you are seeing no doubt glimpses of it building out. There's no doubt about that. What will Ukraine do with NATO membership, right? Because Ukraine wants to go in with NATO, but Russia, if you recall from the reports, they don't want that. So what happened at the end was, this is from France 24 News. So this is Satanism, the Black Sun. This is what Hitler was all about. The in nod to Russia, Ukraine says no longer insisting on NATO membership. But because of that, if NATO gets involved, you know what that means? That means World War III, guys. That means World War III. And that would be bad. Wow. So then, what does Zelensky warn? From the article, The Times of Israel. Zelensky warns NATO will be, attacks, will be attacked next. Zelensky warns NATO will be attacked next. I think you need to, I think you need to just take a minute and then pray to the Lord, okay? Tensions on, it's all this war stuff, it's all this war stuff. And the devil can seep his lie underneath behind the scene. You ought to watch out for that. Off in hospitals and other places. You can't say that when you haven't been to Ukraine yourself, all right? Don't just go off by some information you find online. You know what that is? Rumors, commotions of war like Jesus prophesied would happen that's where your attention's on it's all this war stuff it's all this war stuff and the devil can seep his lie underneath behind the scene 
remember about the neo-Nazis and then the alt-right, the far-right extremists, etc. This is so true because I've already given you some reports proving that from Time Satanism. magazine and Satanism. even the New York. So this is Satanism, the Black Sun. This is what Hitler was all about, the Black Sun. Now we go into Revelation chapter 14. Russia asked uh, from the New York Times, so that was the New York Post, and that was the title that I read. Here's another one, the New York Times now. Title of the article, Russia asked China for military and economic aid for Ukraine war, U.S. officials say. Now China's getting back there. We already had some problems and some concerns about coronavirus and things going on, right? China's getting back into play. And economic aid for Ukraine war, U.S. officials say. Now China's getting back there. We already had some problems and some concerns about coronavirus and things going on, right? Now China's getting back into play. These are they which were, this is, and I looked and behold, a loyal lamb stood on Mount Zion with him and 144,000 in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, Thanks from heaven as the voice of many waters, job, the I voice of you. great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song, the throne, uh, before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the 144,000, no, no. which were redeemed Just from you the guys. Earth. He was important for some of you who didn't know about many, uh, many laws and acts in our government for the virus or for disease or et cetera. So he's a biological expert, basically biological expertise, this guy. So they were interviewing him and he leaned toward that. He, they're what? Spirits, right? As Zechariah 1 and 6, there are spirits that stand before the Lord, spirit horses. Notice right here, verse 20, uh, verse 20, 21, these are spirits that stand before the Lord. Yeah. All right, 21. And there came forth the spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. This ain't a good spirit. Verse 22, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. The jinn's job to accuse the sons of God. Uh, you're the worst police detective I've ever seen in my life, Robin Henry Tease. You accuse people without knowledge. You are the very epitome of a hypocrite. Uh, thief because you're stealing crowns he said thou shalt persuade him and prevail also go forth and do so so what and you are the devil incarnate and uh your time is short and i've given you some reports of glimpses happening but let me give you some more here's another one from the Haaretz. let's look at the elitists the globalists now, the Antichrist, he comes from the nation of Israel, which uh, you've heard from my previous teachings, all right? And the Antichrist, well, Caiaphas was an Antichrist. Some globalist elitists involved. Well, title of the article from Haaretz, U.S. growing alarmed over Israel's safe harbor for Russian oligarchs. They which were not defiled with women. For they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goes. These are were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Well, we know the Lamb is Jesus Christ, and they are the first fruits. They were the first believers of Jesus. And in their Robin mouths Henry they found no and they okay, familiar spirits. Familiar spirits. Unleading this red horse. But be of the Lord, so let's put A O L over here. The angel of the Lord at Zechariah chapter 1 is the one leading this red horse. But be 
but it's horses plural. This is more you know love that? watch. Not one horse. Horses. Be Lot and Abraham, which I think you dealt with last week in your Bible class, and hopefully we're not going to talk much about what Brother Robin spoke about. Custom for the Israelites. And at that time, perfectly okay. But if you notice, like in this picture here, you have a priest wearing a phylactery on his forehead. Activity in Babylon. Actually, the house of Judah was in captivity in Babylon. And Judah was actually the head. Because Judah had not fallen like the house of Israel. The house of Israel had done the exact same thing, too. They had also mingled in amongst the Nephilim bloodlines. That's what caused them to be dispersed throughout all the world. But when Jesus came, Jesus first with as the sword that is more powerful than sharper than any two-edged sword, the word of God being, he discerned the thoughts and intents of the heart and revealed to you who the reptilian was that was intermingled among the Jewish people of his day. He called to himself his own. He separated the ones that were not, and he revealed to you that they were what? Serpents, vipers. He wounded the head of that serpent. He fulfilled the prophecy of Genesis. But amongst the modern state of Israel, in this elite group, there is rising the serpent kingdom again. The beast kingdom is rising up and is going to dominate this reptilian agenda. Satan himself, the fallen angels, are using that particular place on earth in the Middle East there to raise up. And the whole world is wandering after the beast. That's what amazes me. Everybody is in th just, oh, what? Israel, 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 Israel. Do you not know that the scripture says, in closing, let me just remind you, right? Come out of her. Right? Where is it at here? There we go. Revelation 18.4. So let's just take us over to Revelation 18.4. The one way is come out of her, my people, like something was implanted inside of a woman and it came out of her. But God is telling you to come out of her, my people. And here it is again. And he cried with a mighty, with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen and become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, and merchants of the earth have, are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, that you receive not of her plagues. Come in threes. Watch for more high up dead ones to come as Lucifer consolidates his power. The two. Okay? Just like many of them that have been dropping like flies. Justin. Madeline Albright, first female secretary, dies. I'm out of her, my people. Wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. And by the way, that root is their is Satan himself. His tree is going to be destroyed. But in you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up his calves as a stall. I can go forth and grow up his calves as a stall. I can't help but think that this is that system, that binary system that's coming through. Because Caiaphas, there's Hillary, Diane, Rodham, Prince of Darkness. All right.
uh, Jamatria's secret. There's your Pontius Pilate. That's Notice verse 11. The angel of the Lord, so let's put A-O-L over here. The angel of the Lord at Zechariah chapter 1 is the one leading this red horse. That on him was death and hell followed with him. Okay, so notice that this guy is called Pale. He's not, black, uh, he's not speckled, grizzled bay, but called Pale. Sounds like Kim is claiming the Pale Horse. Verse 8, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 8. And again, let me know if I'm cut off, all right? Revelation chapter 6 and verse 8. And I looked and behold a pale horse. So the Bible called it pale. I mean, he's doing it literally with his, his color of his skin.